Oh my god, it is so fucking early right now. It is like, it's like 7 in the morning, my alarm clock just went off. But the thing is, is I beat my alarm clock up. And I had like this weird dream where I was in like a breakdancing competition. I don't even know what the move windmill is. Like if there even is a dance move called that. But I ended up using that to win because I guess no one else knew how to windmill. I'm like, I'm confused what's going on. I woke up, I was like, what the fuck just happened? And I, I don't know, it was a really weird dream. But what's up guys? I got some... uh I got some post-narrated TCGO here versus someone by the name of Handsome James. Uh, took this last night. As you can see, there is not a lot of lag going on right now, but as the game goes on, for some reason, Camtasia just decides to eat more and more and more RAM. Or Google does, or just a Pokemon TCGO does. I don't know. Just when the games take that long, they, they lag a lot. But um, I put Buffalant down first so I can go ahead and take hits. And um, what I want to do is I have some Pokemon communications in my hand. And what I want to do is I want to get both of my Sunflores going. Uh, special thanks to Seb Killjoy while we're talking about it. Because uh, through his or her uh, booster packs, I actually ended up getting a Ninetales for my, uh, my Reshi board deck that I'm trying to build up. Which are a pain in the ass, but you know they are arguably one of the best decks out there. So I ended up pulling one of them Ninetales that has that ability on it. And uh, I ended up pulling a Sunflora for this deck. Pulled some other things as well. I do still need a couple of other things for this deck. But, um, you know, that'll work, that'll work out nicely in time. So, uh, right now I decide to uh, Pokemon Communication the Sunkern. I do have another PCOM. So, if I decide to, or when I get another Pokemon, I can go ahead and PCOM that out. Unless it's Sunflora. In which case, um, I will just evolve it and then just get another Sunflora. So, I go for any viewers' questions here. I only get the one energy, which is like whatever so i was really just trying to thin it out so i could draw other cards and you know just have those energies good to go start putting them on something that way when i get chikorita uh fully evolved then i can start you know distributing around as i want to you know i don't have to worry too much about having energy on specific things but uh, he's gonna go ahead and use a potion uh he actually has a celebi and he's running unknown he's running a deck somewhat similar to mine but a little bit more tricky and that victory bell is a pain in the dick it really is. Like, I think I zoom in on it at one point, and it has the most gnarly attack. It's like a Giga Drain, and then it burns and it poisons at the same time, and I'm like, holy shit, that's excessive. But I decided to use Chikorita, or I peek on out Chikorita here, gonna go ahead and get Sunflora. Since Sunflora's ability kind of acts like a Pokemon communication, but, you know, you don't have to shuffle something back into your deck. And, uh, you know, on the negative side of that, it can only be a grass type. But since you're running an all grass deck, um, it works out. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that. It actually turns out that my other Sunflora uh, is the bottom right prize right next to my mouse cursor at the moment. And I'm looking for the other Sunflora, looking for it, looking for it, can't find it. I had a match earlier that night where I got both of them going. Uh, like, first three turns, I think. I think I ended up pulling double Sunkern in my first turn. And then I had uh, I had Pinsir out, so Pinsir was taking hits. I put both Sunkerns on the bench. I peak uh something out, like, in the second or third turn. And then I think I had like a fully evolved bench by like turn six or something. It, it was fucking gnarly. I really wish I had the one recorded, but he ran halfway through because um, I had a really good energy flow going as well. But uh, he goes ahead and gets Victory Bell evolved. Uh, from my personal experience with that thing, it is nasty because it burns and it poisons and it does 30 damage and it heals him up at the same time. Pokepire is really good too, so I might have to start running some of those in this deck. It looks like I'm kind of running an in inferior version of his deck in that he's running Bellsprout. I am running Jumpluff though, which is, you know, arguably good. Um, the thing is, is Jumpluff is kind of circumstantial on how many Pokemon are in play. But as you'll see, he stocks up his bench fully, and uh, Jumpluff just does nasty things to him. Anyways, uh, gonna go ahead and put Hoppip down so uh, Sunflower can start building up. I decided to send out uh, Verizion just, you know, to start taking hits from this uh, Victory Bell. Since it is a basic Pokemon, um, you know, I can revive it later if I happen to pull Revive or anything like that. Uh, really, I'm just trying to keep everything... I'm trying to keep that Victory Bell at bay while I build up something. And um, I can Giga Drain to stall for some time, but with Burn and Poison racking up and his own personal attack... Uh, I don't know how long I can pull this off. So I decided to put an energy down on Hoppip. Going to use Sunflora's ability. Going to go ahead and pull my uh, my Skip Loom. I think I end up putting my energy down on uh, Virizion as well, which might seem like a waste. But if I can get that damage on Victory Bell by the time I evolve it into Jumpluff, then uh, Jumpluff will be a sure kill. So that is my mindset there. I decide to uh, I decide to Junk Arm. Uh, Going to go ahead and get my Pecom. 
Uh, I guess I didn't put an energy on that yet. I was under the impression that I would have lived his next attack and uh, recoil and such, you know, banking on the fact that I wouldn't get the burn or something like that. I think if I had gotten the burn this turn, I would have died at the end of the next turn, which would have been pretty bad news. But I think I end up dying at the end of the next turn anyway, so I have 40 on me. He does 30, and then burn and uh, poison take effect. Uh, burn is, you know, kind of a 50-50 uh, thing at the end of the turn. Poison is unconditional 10 at the end of the turn. Some Pokemon can toxic, but um, that's not really too common. Uh, for now, I see that he does pull a Sun Current, so I'm like, oh, he is running something similar to mine. Uh, I was wondering the entire time whether or not there was a card that let you put down extra energy per turn. It looks like Celebi is that card, so I will be needing... Well, I won't be needing, but I would. my deck would really appreciate a Celebi, an extra uh, Jump Pluff, and an extra Meganium. Um, because I only have... I think I only have one of each... What? I don't have any Celebis. I have one Verizion, so I could probably use at least one more to either swap out with Kangaskhan or Bufalant. Um... What else do I need? I need an extra jump pluff just to get that going as well because I have three. I have three, two, one going on with uh, Chikorita and uh, Hopip, you know their whole evolution line. So if I could get three, two, two, that would actually be pretty cool. So that way I can fodder one out if I really need to, and uh, just get that going. I don't know if three, two, two is even a good deck structure. I feel like it would be decent for some evolution lines. Uh, mainly jump pluff. I don't really feel the need to have that for my game. Just having another jump pluff around would be really nice. Um, as you can see, it's kind of getting a little more laggy. Uh, animation's getting a little bit choppier because for some reason, the TCGO, the more the turns go on, the laggier it gets, like, really bad. But uh, I put down that third energy on Verizion just so I can hit it with the Sacred Sword. I know I'm going to die either at the beginning of uh, this this turn or the next turn. So it turns out I die at the beginning of this turn. Excuse me, I got uh, I had, I had to burp really bad. That, that coffee just makes me burp. Anyways, um... Turns out he has Verizion of his own, he puts it down. I'm waiting to get mine back. Uh, I haven't really looked too much into what Selby does, but looking at its attack, uh, which I haven't looked at at the moment, I'm really going to need that going. So, uh, take some damage with Chikorita. I mainly just put it down to, you know, take a hit. But I wanted my Jump Bluff to come in fresh. So, it was either going to be that or Kangaskhan. Uh, use MC's Chatter, which is kind of like Bill or Sharon, depending on your, uh, your coin flip luck. I do end up getting the uh, the three, so I get three energies, you know, good to go, good to go. Uh, Sunflora is going to go ahead and use its ability to pull a uh, another Chikorita so I can get that built up. Um, I do have Kangaskhan, it's mainly just there to take hits, I really don't use it too reliably, I, it's kind of j just there, you know, just because I like Kangaskhan. Don't judge me, I can feel your eyes judging me, don't do it. Um, I'm going to hit him with a Mass Attack, which uh, since there are only two slots free in play, it will do 100 damage. And thanks to the uh, Sacred Sword from earlier, it will, you know, be very easily, very easy to take him out. Uh, Jump Pluff is still kind of vulnerable right here, but he has built up a Celebi. And what Celebi does is uh, once during your turn, if Celebi is your active Pokemon, you can put an extra energy down per turn, which is really nice. Um, his attack also makes it so evolved Pokemon cannot hit him, which can be a really big problem late game. Thankfully, I do have, uh, I do still have quite a number of things that can still hit him. But um, I have Kangaskhan. I think I end up reviving Verizion somewhere along the way. And then uh, I do still have Shaman in my hand as well, which will be kind of a stalemate there in that... Uh, actually, I'll, it'll end up working out because I'll be able to heal myself off and stuff. But what I'm working on right now is evolving that Meganium. And um, I put down Shaman for some stupid reason. I'm like, I'm just going to start healing stuff. That's a good idea. So energy is stuff on the... Energy is on stuff on the bench just for the sake of having it on stuff so I can redistribute it once Meganium comes into play. Uh, I don't really have a defined strategy at this point. It's all just kind of floating in the air, kind of like Jump Pluff. So I'm uh, going to go for the Leaf Guard because I know that <laughs> that completely negates the damage that he does. He cannot do damage to me in some way, shape, or form. I cannot do damage to him in some way, shape, or form unless he has a plus power, in which case he would only be doing 10. But I don't really have the advantage here because no matter what I do I can't attack him and uh, I decide to revive right here that is probably the one item I was definitely looking for so I get Verizion because it is a basic Pokemon I can also evolve uh, Meganium this turn Jumpluff has no retreat cost as well so this play is arguably one of the better ones in this game and that I switch out Jumpluff to preserve it for later because mass attack is at its absolute potential I don't want to waste it on anything that it doesn't need to be but since Meganium's Poke Power is Leaf Trans, I decided to take that energy off of Shaman that I, you know, previously put on from earlier, 
and I'm just going to gather it onto Verizion so I can take it out. I take it. What? I can't talk. It's so early. So I can take out that uh, that Celebi in one hit. Uh, I don't know how much health it has, but a I'm thinking that a, uh, a Sacred Sword should do the trick. As you can see, I pull a Skip Loom and a Sun Current. Regrettably, I don't have that second Sun Flora. Otherwise, the setup would have gotten up in like half the time. But uh, I know Giga Drain won't do the job, so I figured might as well kill that thing off. That way, Jump Love can have an easier time. So, as you can see, I'm making a little bit of a comeback. He puts down to Viper. He's running a Grass Psychic deck, a rather interesting one at that. But uh, it gave me a little bit of trouble. I'm just really glad, you know, I got my stuff safely up. So, uh, Venomot's Poker Power is that once during your turn, uh, before you attack, if I'm not mistaken, you can flip a coin. If it's heads, I'm poisoned. If it's tails, he poisons himself. He pulls the tails, and I think he ends up switching out the Bell Sprout to heal the poison and goes into Saviper. Now, Saviper does benefit from poison in that uh, if it's poisoned, its attack does 80 damage as opposed to 20, which is like, holy shit. So that's probably not a good idea, or probably a good idea to be running it with Venomon. So he has put some thought into it. Uh, it does 20 and then 60, and then I didn't really see the other effect to it. It doesn't end up mattering, if I'm not mistaken, because I ended up killing, killing it next turn. But now the Meganium's out. I can just distribute energy however I really want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and retreat Verizion. Thank God that thing only has one retreat cost. Because I'm going to bring in Jump Bluff. Hit him with a max attack, which is now ma max attack? Kind of makes sense. Anyways, 120 damage to the Viper. I'm going to have to take out a lot of the bigger things. Um, the problem that this deck has is mass attack does not take out Reshiram in one hit, which I really need to. And it's really tricky to manage because Outrage just does a lot of damage. So I'd have to Leaf Guard first, and then I would have to Outrage, and I can't really repeat that process against Reshibor. Um, he brings in his own Verizion. He's only good to hit me with a Giga Drain, though, uh, which I'm really glad for, which means I can take him out next turn with a, uh, a Mass Attack. So I have a lot of things I can have in my hand, but I'm going to use Charon, Sharon to draw three cards for free as opposed to, you know, discarding an energy. Um end up uh getting stuff just stuff um i have a lot of stuff i can use to like draw more pokemon and stuff but the thing is i already have all the stuff set up so i think it's actually you know clogging my deck up to have like great ball and like dual ball and stuff i think i really just need pcoms and uh sun flora should do the trick for me so i'm gonna look into reevaluating this deck but things i do need going on for this deck are um let me think i need another uh i need another Verizion. <clears throat> need another jump bluff and I would like another Meganium, but I don't really need one I suppose uh, probably just two more Verizions and a jump bluff and I think that should round it off pretty nicely but uh, he brings in Bellsprout does 10 damage or something did 10 damage I think poison did and um, I am in a good spot because I have uh, five energy in play now soon to be six if I'm not mistaken so I use leaf trans at this point which by the way was laggy as hell um, I started clicking like a motherfucker and my clicks just were not responding at this point i was like what is going on but um that's pretty much the game at this point i started out on a bad note but because of uh sun flora and a little bit of careful management you know i was able to uh get my stuff set up and be good to go um i'm not sure if i already thanked him or her but you know thanks go out possibly again to a uh, sub killjoy for the uh the booster codes um those help those helped out this match in that I was able to get a second Sun Flora. If I only had the one Sun Flora, it would be in the price cards and I wouldn't have had the momentum in the first place. But um, I think I do. I think I did mention that already. And I also got a Nine Tails for my Fire deck as well. And uh, I think I just attacked this turn with a Solar Beam. He's going to do some stuff. And then I attack with another Solar Beam because Meganium's a bulky motherfucker and cannot and will not be taken down in uh, one hit unless it's super effective. So. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, you're welcome to go ahead and click a, uh, a like button that is at the bottom of the video. You know, click that, like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Uh, I'm probably going to go for a quick run after this, then, uh, you know, get my video, my battle video up and running for the day. I figured I would just narrate this, you know, start off the day. He poisons me in vain and uh, does things. But uh, it was a good match I had last night. I'm going to start doing post commentary as opposed to live since it gets... Uh, infuriating you know not being able to get good taste slash good game so i just record it first if it's good i'll save it if it's not then whatever that seems to work out better since my throat does get sore from uh doing live narrations but uh that'll do it and uh i will see you guys later peace